All right. Hello, what's up? Uh, this is Ali again. So let's try to address the display issues of PS3. So uh, iisa-isahin natin yung mga issues no? and uh, yung mga possible causes and how to fix them. First, let's try to address uh, when uh, your PS3 suddenly turns off or bigla nag-brand out or may nagkaroon na outage. Then all, all of a sudden is wala ng display. So what happens is uh, the PS3 um, went back to its default display which is the, uh, which is, uh, the AV cable. So if you have an AV cable, you can check the display on the PS3 and just uh, put it back to HDMI. So you can go here sa ating uh, video settings. Oh no, 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 sorry. Display settings pala. Sorry. Okay. So if ever nawala yung display, uh, I'm still, uh, no. Uh, this is just uh, if you're using uh, an AV cable. So you can still navigate your PS3. So I'm still using an HDMI cable, but uh, I'm just trying to show you how to go back to HDMI display. So you can go to uh, display settings, then video output, then go to HDMI and uh, just click on uh, 720p. Okay, so what if you don't have an AV cable and you want to uh, switch it back to HDMI without being able to navigate your PS3 manually so what you can do is uh, what you can do is you have to reset the display manually <laughs> and uh, once you do that uh, if the ps3 detected an hdmi cable uh, so it will uh, prompt you to use an uh, or it will ask you to change the display to hdmi so to display the ps3 here's what we can do first uh, of course we need to turn off your ps3 then uh, hopefully you can hear this now so once um, your PS3 LED power is on red, press the power button, then hold it until you hear the second beep, right? So uh, don't release the power button first until you hear the second beep, beep. Okay, so that's it. So once you are, or once it gets to the second beep, it will automatically reset its display. And once you have, or if you have a HDMI cable connected to the PS3, you will see this. Okay, so yes, press on yes and it will uh, go back to or it will uh, you know switch back to hdmi so let's just wait ng content no? all right so unfortunately my ps is already having some issues with uh, uh with with uh, the display so um you know i'm having issues uh, trying to display it on 1080p but uh, if uh, your ps3 is uh, having the same issue Let's uh, get to the next uh, uh, possible cause. No? So um, this usually happens if your PS is already having issues with the HDMI IC and the HDMI port. So what you can do is uh, you have to change the uh, both the port and the HDMI IC uh, regardless on what the issue really is or where the issue really is. But in my case, because in my case, uh, I can still uh, use my PS3 on 720p. Unfortunately, I, I clicked 1080p a while ago, so I will just reset the display again. Okay. So wait for the second beep. Okay. So if you have uh, a PS3 with the same issue, you can just uh, switch to 720p. And uh, of course, you won't be able to, uh, you know, to choose if you can see the uh, actual uh, display no so what you can do is just uh, here actually um you just wait for a few seconds and uh of, it will uh reset back to 1080p once you have uh, choose uh, hdmi but if you did not select uh, uh after a few seconds it will uh, reset back to the lowest resolution so that will uh, give you a uh, you no know, that will give you a a signal but this is just for those who's having issues but it's still working okay. so you see it went back to 7 uh to 420 to 480p and if you want to switch it back or to uh, move it uh, move it to or change it to 720p you can just uh, go back to video settings okay i i'm sorry display settings nga ang kulit Okay, so back to display settings, video settings, HDMI, then just choose uh, custom and 720p. Okay, this is for the uh, for those who's having some issues with their HDMI but still working. 
but if your uh, HDMI is or can no longer display on any HD resolution, unfortunately, you will have uh, uh, kailangan yun na siyang dalhin sa technician and have it fixed. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, usually here in the Philippines, uh, the cost is around uh, 1500 So, uh, it's around, uh, how much is it? Ba? $30. Huh? But uh, if you want to have a cheaper option, you can just use uh, a component cable. You know, a component cable in the Philippines is just around 100 pesos, you know, 150 pesos or 200 pesos. So, you can still have an, uh, an almost uh, HD display compared to HD. Uh, HDMI. So, if you don't have an uh, if you don't have an idea what is an HDM or uh, a component cable is, this is what a cam uh, component cable looks like. Okay. Okay. So this is like a standard AV cable with the five uh, what's that five ports or I mean five pins. So ang, ang standard AV cable kasi di ba the uh, yellow, white, and red. Uh, the component cable consists of five pins. So uh, with this, using a, a component cable, you can still have uh, an HD display, even ha even if you have your, or even if you have a defective HDMI port. Okay, so those are just the things that uh, you know uh, that may cost uh, losing your display. But if you have uh, done everything, you can also check if your you can change your your HDMI cable, or you can just uh, change try using it on a different TV. But basically, those are the things that you can do to, uh, you know, have it or some workarounds that you can use to fix your HDMI. Okay, so again, if you have, uh, if you still, uh, if you have encountered any issues that we 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 fail to address, just leave it on our comment section and uh, we'll try to answer them. And until uh, next time, have a great day.